Hey guys, welcome to For Those Who Code. Well, in this video, we'll be learning about skeleton screens in React. Well, if you are wondering what is skeleton screens in React, well, it looks something like this. And we'll go ahead and learn how to code something like this. Before the content is still uh, arriving into our UI, uh, we can see the skeleton of the UI itself. Rather than showing a boring loader like this, we'll go ahead and learn how to create something like this. So let's get started. Well, I just bootstrapped uh, the React project with uh, Create React App, and uh, I think we are ready to code. So before we uh, go any further, uh, let's see uh, skeleton loading uh, right here. If you can see when uh, the um, application is refreshing, well, we can see uh, the skeleton of the layout itself. So uh, it's uh, really popular these days, and you can find this in the top uh, application or uh, the companies has adapted this one, like Slack, Medium, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and more. So uh, it's uh, really helpful in enhancing user experience and to reduce uh, load time frustration in the user side. So it also provides an illusion of speed and that's uh, like something is coming on its way and it ultimately reduces uh, the load time frustration as well. So let's learn how we can use it with our React project. I will first create a file name and name it log list log list dot js and then other one I need is card card dot js let's make the first thing uppercase and then uh, first I would like to import react from react and then I'll make a constant and name it card and then and here inside we'll return some JSX so uh, let's first create li tag where we can and name it card and inside here we will have uh, something like uh, an image which source could be empty for now and we will also add an alt, alt text to the image and give it a class name as well so inside the source before uh, we uh, like uh, figure out where the source of our data is uh, I will first create a empty file and then I name it uh, dummy data dot js so inside here i'll drag in and paste some dummy data i prepared and the data includes a unique id which is generated uh, by the uh, generator id uh, unique id generator which i will uh, share the link below and the image i'm uh, right now using a dummy image here and id uh, image title author publication data publish and duration uh, of uh, the article to be read so uh, right now I have uh, like loaded our dummy data uh, let's split it right and right here we can uh, write we can pass down item uh, because we have items and items of array 
and inside here we have uh, different objects so um, and in the source we can have item dot image and for all text we can uh, use item dot description or maybe it's a title title and we'll also bring author publication date and duration as well I will create a span tag for our item date and duration and paste down some SVG that I've already prepared and inside here also I'll drag in some SVG that we need and let's format this one so now everything looks fine we just access the objects that we uh, created the dummy data that we created and image title and author publication duration and date so let's go ahead and uh, code our blog list now so let's import react from and we will also import card and let's create a constant and name it blog list and inside here I'll pass down the list and then we can have a fat arrow and return some JSX and inside here I will create a UL tag and and give it a class name Uh, which helps in styling later in our application and then we can write list dot items and we'll map down each item and and return card component and we also need a unique key for our list and it's index and item and pass down item as well and then And we will export our blog list. So let's understand what we have done so far. Uh, we created our card component. Uh, inside here, we imported React from React. And then we de deconstructed uh, our item. Uh, and then we passed it as a prop so that we can use um, our um, item. Uh, over our uh, uh, card component and then uh, and then inside our blog list uh, what we have done here is we have um, imported our uh, card component and inside here uh, we accept our um, item as a prop and then uh, and also we have just map mapped to um, each item uh, and uh, in the list uh, and then we uh, ultimately exported uh, the blog list uh, so uh, now let's move ahead and um, make some changes inside our app.js file and let's remove this logo and then <clears throat> we can uh, import our dummy data
and let's also import our block list as well and I think for the blocks the block list we need to uh, separate out in a component fo uh, folder and let's move it here and uh, for our card we can just keep it over here as well for now and yeah let's update it here now uh, what we can do is um, we can uh, just print out uh, our block list component here for now uh, so let's remove this one we don't need it so let's paste it here so now let's make another folder and name it um, skeleton card inside our components and inside here we will add some skeleton that we need for our um, application um, before our um, data renders into our application so uh, for that we will use a library uh, named a react loading skeleton and uh, first of all let's add yarn add react loading skeleton and in the meantime we will import react from react and then we will also import skeleton from react loading skeleton as well so uh, and we will make a constant and name it skeleton card and then and inside here we will return some JSX and we will create a section where we can have our uh, skeleton over here so let's create an s2 tag and inside here we can uh, write skeleton and so we can pass down the duration uh, and give it one for now and then we can also write some height and width that we need so we'll write 30 and let's say it's 300 because it's um, quite seems okay for now so uh, I think I missed out a slash here so yeah so inside here we will create a ul tag so uh, inside the ul tag we will um, uh, we will uh, access the array and then we will uh, write something like um, uh, and um, I think we will uh, use uh, array.field over here uh, because as surfing through the internet I found a solution that we can write so around eight items and we can fill and and map to the items with its index it's its item and index so uh, and use a flat arrow so inside here we will have our li tag and then we will add our additional skeleton needed and we will also need a key so which is index and then uh, uh, let's write skeleton and give it a height of around 40 
uh, story and then width width around uh, maybe 500 for now and we'll add um, some another uh, some other skeletons as well and we will further style it uh, and we'll add some variation to our height and width as well so we can also use our template literals to add and give it around uh, a percentage uh, value as well and then uh, we can 80 or maybe a 60 60 percent over here and then around 10 percent over here okay that looks fine so let's export our skeleton card so I have added some class names that uh, helps us in styling so um, everything uh, looks uh, okay for now uh, I just added the class names and everything uh, is the same um, like before so um, yeah so now let's go ahead and inside our app file uh, what we will do is we will um, use our um, hooks that react uh, gives us so uh, we'll make the use of use state and use effect hook so um, first let's import use state and then use effect as well and we of course have our dummy data ready and also we need to import our skeleton card skeleton card from so here we will uh, make the use of use state and uh, here we will uh, write a blog and set blog to, our, uh, to know and maintain the state of our blog and then we will also make another constant and uh, which we will uh, uh, like maintain the state for our loading our application and showing loaders I mean the skeleton loader And initially it pass false as a value so now uh, we will uh, make the use of use effect hook so inside here we will add our set timeout um, function uh, to um, add our uh, some delay between uh, the data to be displayed so uh, use effect and then here we can use uh, and set our loading initial loading to set let's make a cam location because it's cam location over here as well so set loading set loading and initially the set loading goes to true and then we'll also add a timing where uh, we'll add a set timeout um, and and we will also our update our uh, set blog state uh, with the data that we imported that is dummy data passed down here as well so um, initially uh, the blog state uh, would be null and then we just uh, fill out the blog state um, with our dummy data and then uh, 
and set our loading to false and we will add a callback of four second um, and return with clear timeout uh, and pass down our timing over here so I think everything looks fine for now so now let's go ahead and add our uh, conditional rendering uh, in a sense where if we don't have any um, data um, uh, inside our state then it's um, we also uh, the skeleton loading uh, else we will um, uh, show our um, UI with the data itself so for that we will um, we'll, uh, we need to make some changes over here so um, and let's delete this for now and then let's write loading skeleton card and if not loading we will map to our blog list and inside here we have list and index uh, that we pass down to the props as well so we will uh, return we also need the key or which will we can have ID as well but here we have um, uh, the index that we have from the props so uh, write index here and then ultimately we will use our blog list component over here uh, and we have our access to our list as well let's format this one again so it looks fine and see it in the browser and our uh, list of items has been successfully printed in the screen so for that one um, uh, I think I'll check console uh, and everything looks fine so now let's make a refresh so that we can see our lazy loading initially for four seconds and uh, we will uh, clear out our timing and then uh, we'll uh, show our list of block list that we have so yeah uh, it's it's perfectly working and we have uh, four seconds of delay and then we sort out our uh, ui with our data so i have added my styles now i've uh, increased a little bit of um, uh, timing and set it around nine seconds for now so that we can see our skeleton loader clearly so now let's go ahead and refresh our page and uh, as you can see our skeleton loading um, is pretty much looks really good and awesome and finally we have our content as well so guys i hope you got some initial ideas on creating your skeleton loading in react well, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want to learn about code, design and more, please like, share and subscribe with a click down below.
I'll be trying to make more vi better videos like this. Please find the link below to the GitHub repository as well and other references I have taken for the video. See you in the next one.